knowledge, my beliefs, perseverances, your key to the impossible. I want to say thank you guys for viewing this cool question of the day video. And this is a really, really cool question of the day video because I'm not actually going to be asking you guys a question. I'm going to actually be showing you guys a question that I asked of someone else. The reason why this is so awesome and so cool is because um, some of you know, some of you don't, is that I am a uh, movie reviewer for the Minnesota late night TV show On The Fly. And they sent me recently to the screening of uh, Bridge of Spies with Nicolas Cage and uh, with uh, Steven Spielberg directing. And basically what, what it was is that after the, after the movie, they had a post interview where they had, where they were being interviewed by us, by people who are around in different movie theaters. And what we could do is we could tweet our questions with a certain hashtag and they would answer, you know, some questions, you know, for the, for the audience after the, after the movie, which is really, really cool. And I'm trying to do this quick because they answered my question at the very end. And I feel really bad because I couldn't get the, I, I started recording after they shouted out my name and my city and everything. So I'm sorry guys, but you guys got to see how they responded to it. And basically the question was, is what would the, what did they take from the movie Bridge of Spies? Um, you know, as a director and as a, you know, as a person, an actor who played a character. So um, I'm not asking you guys a question. You can comment, however, you know, like always. Uh, but without further ado, I want you guys to view the um, the answer that I that I uh, that they gave me uh, via you know their interview at the end of the at the end of the show. And I hope you guys enjoy uh, because this got you know this was shown around the world in various many. Uh, movie theaters. So thank you guys for viewing the video. Uh, I can't wait until to see your comments. So make sure to view the clip, which is coming up next. And I will see you guys in the bit about me video later today after you view the clip of the answer from Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks. So thank you guys. I will see you later. You can hold on to from this movie. Good question. Good question. I think what you'll I think everybody, of course, a movie is for individuals, not for the, the, the group. I really believe that movies speak to every individual in the audience, not just the audience itself. Uh, so that's really what you're going to determine. I also don't want to give you a road sign and direct you to what I think you should uh, hold on to from this movie. I can only tell you what I am holding on to and one of the reasons I made the film. And, and that just basically is uh, you have to know when to fight. You have to know when, what to fight for. You have to know when to fight for something, and you have to always, always be mindful that you never become a bystander in any situation where you can affect a change and make a difference and save a life and save somebody from being bullied or save somebody from being uh, uh, thrown into a kangaroo court and getting into the, into the criminal justice system where they really shouldn't be you know, you know, you know, convicted of treason, let's say, which she wasn't uh, guilty of. So I just think it is about an upstanding man who, as I, as I started to say, uh, st stands firm on his principles and wouldn't compromise and wouldn't even blink. And he brought somebody home. He brought two kids home. Tom? Well, I, I stole a clock from the hotel room in Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so flipped. You know, you know, you know. Now, when you were saying that, I heard French horns playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very yeah. lovely. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, there, there, there was this, this, you get, when you read it and it's really working and you know you want to do it, you have this very kind of like personal vision uh, that, that is only inside your own head of how, of how it could be. And when, when, I, when I was reading this and I saw the moments where I, as an actor and as a character, Donovan, was going to be waiting, mm -hmm. waiting to find out something, waiting for a phone to ring, wait, waiting for someone to show up on the other edge of the bridge. And I thought, in Stephen's hands, this is going to be soft. This is going to be dynamite. Because no, no one can reap more cinematic juju out of a scene than Stephen. And, and look what's happening. There, there's, there's no big strum and drag. There's no explosions. There's no, there's, not, there's no big music. It's not, but it's literally just human beings waiting for a phone to ring. And they don't even say anything when they pick up the phone. When, when you see it and it comes out as great on screen because of what the boss did as it did in your own head. That's that's just the high country, man. That's 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 when you're you're really glad to be an actor. And, and, yeah. Um, 
I cannot, I cannot imagine. That was the perfect amount of applause for that answer. I, it could have gone on a little longer. Oh, I can now bring it to a close. Thank you very much. I, I, I guys are like a communist party. <laughs> we will all applaud that answer for even longer to show our solidarity with the speaker. <laughs> Can't imagine a better way to spend an evening than to see a Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks movie and then talk to Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks. Well, That's great. great. Congratulations, Congratulations on the everybody. movie. Thank you so much. Thanks for your questions. Thank you. Shalom, Toronto, Lakewood, Yonkers. Lakewood. Adina. 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 Oh, look, and there's Wilson. I don't know. There's Wilson. Wilson. Uh, <laughs> Wilson was not a pink volleyball. <laughs> It's a game, though. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.